Scott has replaced McKee. So Larry Brown getting another three-point shooter in the game as Mason attempts the free throw and comes up short. But Anthony waits in for the rebound. Got big, foul, big board. Got a foul. He got a foul right away. It wasted 10 seconds. How many times are games decided by the rebounds on free throws? Not free throws that are made. And Greg Anthony, what a big role he has played in this game. Smith's fouled out with 34. Ewing had an off day. And Anthony, who came in for Derek Harper after Harper picked up his second technical, has come up big for New York. Greg Anthony learned, sitting on the bench, kept his mouth shut this year, matured a lot. Again, his fourth season. So much promise coming out of UNLV. Finally, coming to the top. Starks hits two. New York leads 103-97 as the Pacers call a timeout. So Greg Anthony with that big, big rebound. He has scored 13 points, including a key three, and the Knicks in control. 103-97, New York leading, 24.7 seconds left. Anthony, one of the heroes. Mason, two off the New York bench. In a game that has seen 55 personal fouls tying the NBA playoff record set in a four-overtime game in 1953. Byron Scott fouled. That'll set the record. Maybe Anthony's not a hero after all. The bench for New York was key today with Harper and Ewing not having the typical big game, although Ewing was magnificent in the stretch. The numbers won't show that. Mason and Greg Anthony supreme today. Scott hits two. Go for the steal, if not, foul immediately. There's the immediate foul. Greg Anthony will step to the Nick line with 18.7 seconds left. New York leading 103.99. Well, Larry Brown said that his Pacer team came in unlike the last two seasons, thinking they could beat New York. This Madison Square Garden arena has been a house of horrors for them overall, but he seemed to be confident. Can this Pacer team beat New York? They're going to have to play a lot better than they played today. Anthony gets the first one, but the Pacers got a break with Ewing in early careless foul trouble. Both teams feeling their way out. The game never achieved its flow until late. Harper gets ejected, and they still can't take advantage. Smith has a monster game. Greg Anthony hits two to extend the New York lead. A game that's seen nearly 60 fouls called. Actually, that is short of the record for both teams in a playoff game. Miller for three, and he got it. Reggie Miller with a clutch tray, and it's 105-102. And a steal. Miller retreats to the three-point line and hits again. <laughs> presence of mind, but then to foul there, the, the Knicks had no timeouts. You basically had to play for overtime if you're the Pacers in that situation. Miller's going to make, after he sets the screen, he steps behind, makes the first jumper. On the inbound pass, Greg Anthony stumbles, and they can't get it to him. The ball gets stolen. Mason not able to call timeout. Starks misses. Neither team has a timeout remaining. Pacers have to box out here if they expect to win this game. Last time, similar situation, Anthony with the offensive board. A make is okay for the Pacers. Starks misses. Batted around. Ewing has it. His 
shot, no good. Reggie Miller, the rebound, and a foul with 7.5 seconds. And Pat Riley is saying, what is going on here? My normally surefire shooter, John Starks, one of the great clutch players in basketball. Streaky, yes, but normally finishes plays like that. Misses two free throws. Pacers still can't get the rebound. And now Reggie Miller at the line for two free throws after Ewing just a bit long. Miller has hit 12 of 13 in the game. For only the second time in 16 games here at the Garden in, against the New York Knicks, Indiana has reached 100 points. They won the other time. Maybe this will be the magic number for them here as well. It's like Indiana's win in game one at Orlando last year. Miller no hits two. No timeouts. Anthony stumbles and falls. Time runs out. Reggie Miller scoring eight points in the final 32 seconds. Taunting Spike Lee and 19,000 at Madison Square Garden. One of the most remarkable comebacks in all of basketball. They never gave up, and the Knicks gave him a chance. Missed free throws. Uh and Dan Hicks has Reggie Miller. Dan? All right, Tom, just an unexpected turn of events there in the last minute. What was going through your mind? You knew you had to get a quick, quick couple threes. Well, we knew we had to get a three. We were down by six. If we got a quick three on that, we knew they had no timeout. We had to pressure the ball. Uh, we overplayed Anthony. Mason choked and threw it to me. I hit a three. And we almost tossed the game when Sam, you know, made that foul. But John Sarge choked. We came up big. Reggie, maybe the difference between this year's team and last year's team, this team never gave up hope during the last portions of this game, even though it looked like you were on the losing end. Last year, I'm not going to lie, coming in here for the Eastern Conference Final, we didn't think we could win. We feel we could sweep this team. This is for you, Indiana. We come.